Michael Nine Maps Condry has confirmed that a new big update finally is coming for COD World War 2 in the next few weeks before DLC 1. Well, this is Sledgehammer, so it's probably going to come next year. Now, I think we can all thank God for this update because some things need to be fixed. You know, some things that rhyme with really loud German announcer, which is really loud for some reason. If you catch my drift. Now, apparently they're looking at some really, really important stuff like nerfing the M1 Garand. Who's mad? Like, uh, sh sure, Sledgehammer. Why not? Just, just whatever. Because we all know the M1 Garand is the reason why people are complaining about the lack of maps. Anyway, in all honesty now, there's a big update coming for COD World War 2 and it could be the saviour of all updates because you may know this or you may not know this, but the COD community is very, very split on COD World War 2, right? There's a divide going on. Some people love it, some people hate it. I mean, that's the same with pretty much every COD game. Let's be honest, people always complain about the newest one as I am doing right now. However, there's some big problems which people are really complaining about that can be fixed, and this update should be the update to fix it before it's too late, my friends. So the first thing is a huge deal that needs to be reworked or fixed in COD World War 2, and that's the sprint out speed. So if you don't know what that is, it's the speed it takes for your character to stop sprinting, pull up the weapon, and shoot the first shot. So, I don't have the exact stats, but something along the lines of it's three or four times slower in COD World War 2 versus BO2. So when I first learned or heard about this sprint out speed thing, I was like, that doesn't sound like a big deal, like some of you might be. However, I then looked into it and actually it really encourages camping and slower gameplay, which is why I think Black Ops 2 sometimes feels more fast paced and more smooth than World War 2 because of that huge difference in the sprint out speeds. So once again, I, I'm not Einstein, right? I don't have all the stats, but also health regen needs to be reworked. So that's regaining your health. I forgot what it was, but it's something along the lines of you're one shot, one shot to death, it takes about 10 seconds to regain all your health back. I think that's the slowest in any COD, so these two things, for sprint out speed and health regen, just make the game slower and are just big problems because they're so different to any other COD. Sledgehammer, what are you... I... They're literally aliens, boys. They're literally aliens. They don't have a clue what's going on. And now another thing that Michael Condry came out of his cave to say was that they're thinking about adding new game modes. Well, actually, he had this whole big Reddit post where he talked about all these different game modes in multiplayer and whatnot, and he mentioned Infected just out of the blue, so um, I, I guess that's coming at some point, so maybe that's going to be in the update. And he also said something along the lines of that Ground War isn't necessarily being in the works. He, he didn't say yes or no. He said Ground War might happen, but it probably won't because the maps are... Yeah, yeah. So the next few weeks, a huge update for COD World War 2 is coming, confirmed right from the boy Michael Nine Maps Condry. So I look forward to this. I hope it fixes all the things that is wrong with World War 2. It's not. It's one patch. It's going to break more. Let's be honest. Prepare for all the announcers to be shouting. It's happening, boys. Stay spicy, and I'll see you in the next one.